Denver, one step closer to getting its own pot club, a place where people can legally consume marijuana. A business called the Coffee Joint just handed in its application. Now, if approved, the club would open up near 13th Avenue and I-25. Our Stan Bush there at that location tonight. So, Stan, why did they choose that spot? Well, I think because of ease, Jim, this one is directly next door to a pot and dispensary, and it's right off of I-25 in a highly industrial area. But most of these pot clubs will not end up being this isolated, and that has some people worried about what the future of these clubs is going to look like. As people will come, they'll have a little area when they're going to have their ID checked. Rita Saluk envisions her new coffee shop as a place where people can consume art, music, and TV and soon marijuana. How long have you been working on this idea? Idea came about a couple years ago when the people start talking about social club. The space dubbed the coffee joint would be Denver's first marijuana club after Mile High voters approved the measure in 2016. Aubrey Lavizo is part of the neighborhood committee welcoming a spot where patrons can use marijuana in any way except smoking it. As far as a business and what they do, I think it, we do need to provide places for people to consume publicly. Rachel O'Brien campaigned against the pot clubs and warns while this location appears isolated, eventually others could become a hazard to Denver neighborhoods. People are looking to us, and so if we do it unsafely, that's going to, you know, that news is going to travel across the country, if not the world. And there's deep concern about what happens after customers use to keep high drivers off the road. So Luke says her employees will be trained to notice the signs, but recommends users take public transit or just not drive themselves. We're not going to police them, if that's what you mean, but we will, we will help them out to make the right decisions. Public hearings on this club are expected in the next few months, and there are already other clubs under consideration, including one club in one of Denver's historic mansions. We're live tonight in Denver, Stan Bush, CBS 4 News.